Hello, I will be showing you today how I use ChatGPT for tweaking my son's blood glucose numbers. Uh, he's using a combination of Android A, APS and Xdrip. So lately I've been noticing his blood sugars, he's in puberty, so his blood sugars would go up and down and the, the need of glucose is changing day, like weekly. So we really need to adapt quickly. So, um, but I have not been doing that for quite a while since puberty just started. <laughs> so um, then I forgot a lot about how to use AAPS. And thanks God we have ChatGPT this time and I, it, it was a huge help. So I would really like to share with you how I use it. Please, 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 please uh, always recheck the settings because, you know, chat is not 100% accurate. Use your own logic and intelligence to discern what is what is suggested. But until now, and I'm using it for quite a lot, uh, for quite some time now, it was a huge help. So let's start, okay? Uh, first, you will need to take a screenshot of the profile you want to tweak, okay? So you take a sc screenshot of all the sub windows, the basal, the, um, what is the insulin to carb ratio, the ESF, EFS, well, so all the sub, sub, uh, things in the profile you're using in the AAPS. And I will show you now how to communicate with chat. Okay, it's super easy, super intuitive. Once you get used to it, it's like just, I'm kind of using it hundreds times, <laughs> hundred times per day for like most everything. So let's start. Okay, so let's start. I will now uh, tell to chat what I expect from him. If you don't speak English, use your own language. He understands a lot of languages. Uh, no worries about the grammar and uh, he will just try to understand you as much as possible. And so let's start. Hey, chat. Hey, Miss Anina, what's up? So my son has diabetes and he's using the app called AAPS. It's a closed loop system. And lately, since he's in puberty, his blood glucose is all over the place during the night. So the profile I'm using right now is not working, okay? So can you please help me adjust the settings? And uh, the, I would like to smooth the graph, okay? Can you suggest what, what settings I can change for that? I will upload the pictures, okay? Got it. To tweak the AAPS settings, we can adjust basal rates, insulin sensitivity, or carb ratios. Upload the graphs so I can see the patterns and suggest specific changes. Thank you. You're welcome. So okay, so let's go now to upload files from your computer. So it's easy like that to, ch to talk with chat. Uh, let's just upload the, the, the things. So I have this. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't use the um, upload. I'll do it one by one. And then this upload and another one. It would go faster if I would not hold the phone with my hand, but okay. So I uploaded just uh, this three data from the profile my son is using. Uh, so I've already done this, okay? And this graph that I'm uploading was not really bad, but so uh, anyway, let's just do it so you understand how you can do it, okay? Uh, and this is the graph I want to, so the line that I want to smooth is, I think this one, yes, is this one, right? So this is the graph my son was having and it's perfect, okay? Cause I already tweaked it before. <laughs> this is the second time I'm doing it, but I want to fine tune it, okay? So what I was a little bit concerned of, well, concerned, it was just this up and down and up and down and I knew something was off, okay? And uh, so, yeah, and probably a lot of you will know that probably EFS, it's 
kind of to tweak but still you know sometimes you don't remember sometimes you're not sure what to do and it's just good to have a kind of a know-it-all uh helper that will just analyze the graph and remind you of the settings you you can use okay uh it's it's really really helpful um so i've been uploading these pictures okay and let's see what he will suggest we're waiting um oh my god Okay, I will not read this now, <laughs> but as you can see, he gave me a cool analysis of the current settings overview. And you can also make it say it out loud, okay? But I will just show you since. So, and he saw that the insulin ESF, insulin sensitivity factor is set to 3.5. And it, this means, it also explains what that means, okay? For those of you that forgot already the, the, the just these terms, I'm really bad at remembering. Then is the insulin to carb ratio, you know, and then is the basal rate. Uh, so he would just suggest, here is the nighttime segment in particular, because the night time segment is what I'm interested to, to tweak because it was going so up and down and night sky scout observation graph uh, from 7 to 6 a.m. and there was this multiple waves of moderate low dips around midnight trend Suggestions for the fine tuning, okay? In AAPS, he said, go to ESF table and just add a new row from this period, 11 p.m. So he suggests to upper a little bit ESF in this period because the corrections were too aggressive, right? Consider slightly basal base reduction reduction because it was falling down a lot. So he just suggests... And you can check your settings and, and compare, you know. So if they're too aggressive, just don't do it. Use your logic. But it's really helpful because it will do the math for you. It will analyze very well the graph. Uh, review nighttime targets, blood, glu uh, blood glucose. If lo it, and this is the target that you are setting. Mine was around 5.1, I think. Uh, no, it's set around 5, so it was 5.1, and it was obviously too aggressive for the night, okay? But I really do like my son to have low blood glucose, okay, lower, so I'd really kind of try to make, to keep it as low as possible, but sometimes it's disturbing because these corrections are just like waking me up every <laughs> two hours, and so yes, and now it's just suggesting to lower the night time, target and i know some of you are pros and you will just laugh at this but some of you are new and you or or you know after a few years you really forget a lot of stuff at least me so yeah and we could look into the uh no we are not changing that okay but it's making a good analysis and suggesting what to change okay and just to tell you eventually the the the, the Tweaking that I did uh, really helped and my son has really nice blood glucose values uh, these nights uh, and I know in a few weeks I will need to change it again. His blood glucose uh, needs, uh, his insulin needs increased like by 40%. And it's because I was using the profile like 140 for some time, but then again, I used chat to just... <laughs> make the math how much is 40 percent more of insulin and yeah to adjust all the settings it's cool to know how to use it you can also use it like that so let, let me show you hi chat hey please uh can we refresh the knowledge because uh, i i really forgot a lot of things in aaps can you please explain the major players um uh, in the profile that you set you know this I, F, 
insulin to carb ratio and insulin sensitivity factor. Uh, yeah, what is that? Can you please explain with really simple words? Sure, let's break it down into simple terms. Basal rate. This is the steady drip of insulin your son gets all the time. It helps keep his blood sugar stable between meals and overnight. ISF, insulin sensitivity factor, this tells us how much one unit of insulin will lower his blood sugar. If it's set at 3.5, it means one unit will drop his blood sugar by 3.5 milli. IC, insulin to carb ratio. This shows how much insulin is needed to cover carbs. If his ratio is 13, it means he needs one unit of insulin for every 13 grams of carbs he eats. These settings help the system decide how much insulin to give based on his blood sugar and food intake. Does that help? Yes, awesome. And please, um, yeah, no, just that for now. I think that's enough. We covered enough. Thank you so much for helping. And that's it for today, okay? Bye. You're welcome. Happy to help anytime. Take care. Bye. So yes, it's uh, really polite, really patient. Uh, he will just advise everything you need to know. And uh, yeah, I'm really, I will have a workshop soon so I can really teach you basics, how to ask whatever. Let's say you can also ask him uh, in Xdrip last time or, or Night Scout, whatever, whatever is not working. Last time there were values not showing in Night Scout as I wanted to. And uh, so I couldn't see the insulin on board. And he helped me tweak this in uh, not really, it was not the Night Scout settings, but it was the XDRIP setting. So he helped me direct there and check that setting, interrupt setting. So it's really, really useful. And thanks for following. That's it. Bye.